Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing my fall palette collection, I guess. Because really, it's a lot of palettes. And <laughs> if you're new to my like palette videos, these aren't necessarily like my favorites or even things that I recommend. Um, but it's mostly just me pulling out palettes from my collection um, that have a certain you know seasonal vibe to them so i did the same like i did for my spring video and my summer video and yeah i'm ready to do my fall video now so these aren't in any order but i guess like i stacked them a certain way so we'll start with the mini palettes so this first one here is a very old palette in my collection it's from the brand Blink. It was like a boxy charm collab. It's called the Electric Eyes Palette. So this is a five pan palette of all shimmers. Um, it actually kind of looks like I could have done my look with this today. I'm actually wearing the Modern Renaissance palette because it's in my project pan. Um, and this has a lot of the same colors now that I think about it, but yeah, I remember liking the quality of this um, So I definitely should probably pull this back out at some point Considering it's quite old in my collection But yeah, it just I had a fall vibe that I So I had to include it in this video um, then I also have my Dose of Colors Baked Browns. This is the only Dose of Colors palette that I have. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like this. So, like, these nice warm brown shades. Well, this one's warm. The rest are kind of, I don't know, neutral. But, yeah. Um, I really liked this palette also when I used it. I have a video um, where I used this palette. I used all the shades and it made like a really fun look. So yeah, I should pull this one out too. So this is an all matte palette, whereas the other one was all shimmer. So I definitely have a lot of variety in like palettes I can... Um, paired together. Then I had to include this one, the Natasha Denona Peak Palette. This is another BoxyCharm exclusive and I think we got it last year around this time. It's just very like Thanksgiving to me. I don't know why. But I haven't used this yet and I really should because I really like the color story. Sorry, my battery died. And then I felt like I was too zoomed in for a palette video so things might look a little different. But let's move on um, to my MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 eyeshadow palette. This is another one I need to use more. I'm going to probably say that about everything. <laughs> But I also find this is a very fall themed palette. Um, you guys know I love these like mustardy shades like this. And this is an all matte palette. I actually haven't gotten much use out of this because I don't really remember much about it. But yeah, it's one that caught my eye to you know play with in this season. Similarly, my NYX lid lingerie this kind of has like the same sort of vibe actually but a lighter version i guess um this one i actually do know that i like it a lot especially for drugstore um i don't know if they still this one is still available but the quality is really good and it's just like a nice like quick look that you can do without you know having to think too much about it. Oh, and this you might not have seen lately, at least. This is actually my only single shadow palette. It actually has two, and I never remember which ones. I think it's these, the purple and this one are Tarte shadows, and then 
This one and this one are Makeup Geek, like the old formula. And then these smaller pens are from a Makeup Forever holiday palette that I put in here because the actual palette is like this thick and I just cannot find any room for it. So I put them together like this and I did that a long time ago and I feel like now is the time that I should be pulling this out because this color story is very fall. And now, now that I think about it, um, it actually looks a lot like the newest, well, is this the newest palette in my collection? It's pretty sad that I have to think about that really hard, but I got the Huda Beauty Jaguar, Jaguar? Wild Obsessions, and now that I'm looking at it, these are like the same which is funny because I made this years ago. Oh my God, that is weird. Uh, but yeah, so now I have these two and I just mentioned in my last video, I hauled this and I was like, this is so unique to my collection. No, it's not at all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, probably the formulas are quite different because this is all like a mix of really old eyeshadows. But yeah, I should dip into that to see if I even like those colors together. Um, because I would like this to be a palette that I just use on its own and I don't have to like dip into other things, which is the whole point of like making your own palette in my opinion. So we'll see if I like that. And that gets that one out of the way. I was going to mention it later, but I just saw them and I was like, wait, that looks very the same. Um, and then I have this little Viseart Petit Pro that you've seen a few times on my channel. This is just like a, actually the same kind of color story. <laughs> It's this purple. Whenever this purple's with like a grayish kind of tone like this, I guess it m makes me feel like it's for fall. I don't know. But yeah, I have this guy. Not very unique to my collection, I will say. I also thought this one would be fun. The Animal Crossing What A Hoot Colourpop, sorry. Animal Crossing Colourpop collab. The What A Hoot one is like the only one that's for fall because the other ones are very pastel but I thought this was like a nice like cozy little palette because it has like this shimmery coppery shade and this like bronzy gold and for some reason those colors are also very fall to me and I think they're kind of like trending right now as fall shades but yeah, I thought this would be really cute and I actually haven't used this one yet, so there's that. Um, I also thought I would mention my two e.l.f. Bite Size palettes. You've seen these before if you've watched my other videos. I think they're really good, especially since they're only like 4 or $5 Canadian. Um, and it just happens that the two that I have are like fall themed I feel I feel like um mauves are very trendy right now or mauve however you want to say it yeah that's a bit weird because you normally maybe wouldn't consider those kind of shades like fall themed but I don't know for some reason this year I do so I have these two guys which I've used quite a bit actually so I'm not like you know desperate to get into these but I just thought I'd mention those um, because those are actually still available um, in Canada at least those shades anyway um, and then I have this Naked Cosmetics little trio that I got ages ago in a BoxyCharm and every time fall rolls around I'm like oh I should get out that Naked Cosmetics palette but I never do because it's only three shimmer shades. But aren't these like just screaming fall 
to you a purple and orange and a green yeah and from what i remember they actually perform really well too so yeah thought i'd mention that guy and then my last dish little mini palette is the wet n wild comfort zone i think they've reformulated this again and it doesn't look like this anymore correct me if i'm wrong but i actually got this quite I mean, not recently, like two years ago, maybe. But the Comfort Zone palette has been around forever. Um, but yeah, this is another one that is very fall to me. And I also feel like it looks very similar to the new Too Faced Fruitcake palette, which I was like considering, not that I can buy it because it's only available at Ulta right now, but it looks like this pretty much. It has one of those like green brown shifts. So do I really, there, there was a fluff in the air. <laughs> so I was like, do I really need it? Probably not. Cause I don't use this one, um, as often as I would like, but yeah, those are like my little mini-ish palettes. Uh, I was going to save this one till the end cause to do like a mini haul at the same time but I already mentioned the Huda Beauty Jaguar palette so I might as well mention this too the Smashbox Cover Shot Golden Hour Eye Palette I got this in a boxy charm at some point and I actually chose this out of like the options not that I needed another palette but it was just like the only thing I wanted out of what the options were and this actually looks very similar to the Vizier palette. If I can hold them up closely. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> Which is actually funny because I had another mini Smashbox palette from Holiday like years ago that looked exactly like this and I decluttered it because I was like, I don't need two mini palettes with the same color story. And now this is back <laughs> in my life. So I actually never tried the Smashbox cover, what are they called? Cover shot eyeshadow palette. So I'm kind of interested and the packaging is cool. But yeah, if like this doesn't perform that well, I don't know, maybe I'll compare the two because I actually don't use this one that much either. And it's quite expensive because it's busy art. I probably got it on sale, but still. Okay, now we're on to like, everything else which is not in any order um first this giant thing the pat mcgrath labs mothership mega celestial divinity eyeshadow palette this was the holiday palette from pat last year which i haven't even touched yet oh but this is what it looks like and i was like really on the fence of including this in my fall video because I feel like it's very holiday themed with like the sequins and the shimmer and the glitter and everything but I think like it's those purples and greens again that get it for me that that do it for me <laughs> um I think what's throwing me off is that there's no brown in this palette which is kind of strange for a Pat McGrath Labs palette. There's actually only three mattes in this palette. This like cranberry-ish shade, uh, this like mauve pink, and this purpley shade. So yeah, I guess probably Considering the way I do my shadow, my eyeshadow, I always go in with a matte first. Probably all of my looks with this palette are going to be like on the purple side, but I really need to use this. I actually might add it to my shop my stash because I saw the new Pat McGrath Labs holiday palette and it looks really beautiful. And the packaging is way better than this one. And I've heard they're the same price. So, I mean, I really shouldn't get that one considering I haven't used this one yet. But 
Maybe it's an excuse to pull this out. <laughs> oh, and I have another Busy Art palette. This is an all matte one. This is the Neutral Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I actually wanted this for years, like since I started watching YouTube and all the people I w were following were always mentioning this as like a very, like a staple neutral matte palette to have. And I was never gonna buy it at the price that it originally is, which is like $100 Canadian. But I got this for like $12 at a boxy, during a boxy pop-up sale. So I finally have this in my collection and I never used it. <laughs> so yeah, another palette I haven't touched, but I really probably should. I've seen like so many mixed reviews on Viseart though. I get, maybe that's what's like not really making it exciting to me. I don't know. We'll just have to see. This palette is like the Naked Cosmetics trio that I just talked about before in that every time fall comes around, I think of this right away. It's actually from a brand called Clara Cosmetics which I don't even know if they exist um, because I found this at Winners but it's called the Number One Pro Palette and this is Halloween in a palette. I love it. It's like pumpkin-y and dark and brown and <laughs> just my kind of color story so I should definitely pull this out and put this in my Chame stash or else because what happens when there's like a palette um, or a certain color story that is representing a season to me if I don't use it within that season I like put it in the back of the drawer and then it's gonna be another year until I even think about it so that's why I'm saying I should really pull this one in um, then I have another palette that I haven't used yet. <laughs> Wait, have I? No, I'm pretty sure I haven't. The Violet Voss All of You Forever eyeshadow palette. This is another purple and green palette. Well, not really purple, kind of like plum, cranberry kind of. But this is something I would like to use soon because it looks really nice um and i really love my violet voss coral crush palette so i'm hoping it's the same formula but yeah still have to try that one then i have a makeup forever holiday palette it was the lustrous shadow palette this one here um this is like a packaging that you have to pull apart like this but this color story also looks really pretty. Again, it's those purples. I don't know what it is, but very fall themed to me. And I don't think I've used this one. Maybe I have. Like if, if I did, it was a long time ago and I don't remember anything about it. But I need to get some use out of that one too. This one is just a good like year-round palette, I guess. The Juvia's Place, the Nubian. This is the original like big one. I believe there's a mini size of this now. But yeah, just a really nice like warm brown bronzy palette. Actually looks very similar to the Naked Heat by Urban Decay now that I think about it. But this is one of the first palettes that I ever bought and I need to use it some more because it's getting old. <laughs> this palette, never used it. It's the Crown Pro. There's no name on it, but it came in a boxy charm. And, and again, very Urban Decay Naked Heat color story. Um, I think my mom gave this to me actually because she got it in a boxy charm. Um, and I've never used it, but it's very warm brown, which I like, so I'm 
pretty sure I will like it. Oh, then I have my KVD. Not Kat Von D. Um, Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette that I got many moons ago and I've used like once. <laughs> um, yeah. I was considering selling this palette at one point, but then I was like, is anyone even gonna want this? It's really old and boring, but I mean, I've heard really good things about it. It's just so basic. I mean, it's just a matte palette. And it is like meant to just be used to create shade and contour. That was the whole idea behind it. But I really like using shimmers when I do my eyeshadow looks. So I guess that's why I never reach for this one. But I probably should to see if it's even still good. Oh, then we're getting into some ABH palettes. So if you know anything about ABH, I'm sure you will guess that I'm about to mention subculture because it looks like this very grungy fall tones to me and I'm one of those who actually like this palette <laughs> I know there's very mixed reviews on it but it has those mustardy shades that I love and yeah just another fall fall in a palette that's what that is and then one of my favorite palettes, the Anastasia Jackie Ina collab. This is my Thanksgiving palette, as I like to call it. It's just very beautiful. <laughs> it performs amazingly, and I love the color story in this as well. Again, it has like the purple and the green. So, had to mention that one. And I think this is my last ABH one. My Master Palette by Mario. This one. Another grungy theme, kind of. Which I like for fall. Um, I just posted my Vive video where I tried this palette. So, and I mentioned I was going to talk about it in my fall palettes video because again grungy fall tones this is quickly turning <laughs> into a grungy so we went through like the purples and the greens and now it's like grungy mustard browns but yeah i do need to get some more use out of this i really liked the mattes um, I only tried the one shimmer shade, this one. There's only actually three shimmer shades in this whole palette. And this one I found was like really dry and flaky. So I don't know how I feel about it. But the mattes were amazing and again, love this color story. Here's a palette I was going to haul at the end, but it was on top of the stack. So... <laughs> I actually already kind of gave you guys a sneak peek of this in the Shop My Stash video, I'm pretty sure. But I got the pa Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. And I never used it. Oh, it looks like this. Um, this is not necessarily just a fall palette, I feel. This would be nice like any time of year, I guess. But I had to mention it in this video to remind myself that I own it and that I need to pull it out. I'm actually really excited to use this, but for whatever reason, I don't. I don't know what it is. I'm like scared to touch it because it was so expensive. But yeah, I had to have it, especially because it's like kind of unique to my collection. Not really the color story, which is just like browns and bronze. But it has these two cream shades behind this little flip thing. And I watched the video that he did using this, like when it launched. And he actually used the cream shades like at any point of the look. Like he was layering them with the powders. He put it on at the end even, I remember. 
and I just thought that was really intriguing. So I need to test this and see if it's worth the hype. Because I feel like after it launched, no one really talked about it anymore. But everyone liked it when they tried it. So there's that. Here's another Violet Gloss palette from a BoxyCharm. The Essentials palette. This one is very fall themed. Again, purple, green. It's the purple and the green. But um, I haven't used this. And I don't know why, because I really love this color story. So another one that I have to pull out. I've mentioned this palette before, my Maybelline Nudes of New York. Just a really good quality drugstore palette. If you're looking for a basic neutral kind of palette. I was looking at this before and I was kind of thinking this could almost be like two palettes in one because if you cover one side it's very like mauve plum kind of color story and then this is just like a really nice like everyday look kind of side. So I actually really recommend this palette if you don't want to get something more expensive at Sephora but that is still good quality. This one is really good. This is another BoxyCharm exclusive which I clearly have too many of. The Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette. I have actually used this one and this one I feel is very Halloween. Um, I don't know why. It just, maybe it's the packaging, I don't know. But I like this palette, I, I remember I like this palette, and I really like my Dominique Latte palette, so I think this one had the same formula if I remember correctly, but I just need to pull this out. It's just very like dark, like there's no matte cream shade, um, or even really like a light transition shade so any look that I do with this if I only use this palette would probably be pretty dark and then there's this random blue <laughs> but yeah I remember liking this when I tried it um then I have the Ace Beauté Scarlet Dusk palette this one love the color story haven't used it I think I mentioned this in my summer video too maybe but I feel like it's a summer, fall kind of vibe. Uh, then I have my only Kylie palette, which I guess is obsolete now since she rebranded and everything. But this was the burgundy palette. I actually don't remember liking this too much because the shade burgundy, this like burgundy shade, yeah, it's called burgundy. The palette's namesake is like the worst shade in the palette, <laughs> which I don't get. But I still like the colors. Um, I just have to try it again, see if I actually like the formula. If not, I will probably pass this one on. Um, this palette I actually really love. The BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette. It's just like so unique in my opinion. I just really like the color story of this and again it has the purple, the green, but then these like random kind of blue tones but not really blue. They're just really interesting and I would love to get more use out of this one. My Natasha Denona palettes, I won't spend too much time on these because I always mention these palettes. The Sunrise palette which I believe I mentioned in my summer video, summer palette video, and said this was like a very end of summer kind of color story. And yes, I do still think so, but I think this can transition well into fall as well with these like deep, warm, kind of reddish tones. And then my bronze palette, which was in my Shop My Stash quite recently. Just your basic bronze palette, but with Natasha Denona formula, which is really good. Uh, this palette is super old. 
and I don't even remember how I feel about it. The Tardis Pro, the original one. This is another one I should take out this time of year. Um, it's the purples probably. It smells really good. Um, yeah, need to see if I like this one still. Palette I got quite early on when I started getting into makeup. Um, then my Urban Decay Born to Run. This palette is in every palette video because it's just your, um, like, year-long color story. It could be summery down here, but then it could be fall over here. Um, yeah, I just probably should use this more, like I've said about every other palette. <laughs> and I think that's my, I think this is my last one. Yes, I actually just mentioned this before, my Dominique Latte palette. I always think of this one in the fall. Um, even though it's quite, like if you take away these two colors, it's just very basic. But the shade is called Pumpkin Spice and I really love it and Pumpkin Spice is like, you know, the basic bees <laughs> drink for fall so I don't know, it's just very fall. I think it's the coffee theme that reels me in but I really like the formula of this palette and yeah. I don't even know if this is still available, but I really like it. So I hope you like this video. I don't know if, if it was helpful because probably a lot of these palettes you can't even get, but um, maybe you own some of them yourself and I inspired you to get some use out of them. I know that's what I'm going to do now is see which one, which of these I want to add to my shop my stash which I will film of course, and yeah, just get some nice fall looks going. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.